The new kings have been ruling Denmark for over two months now, but their plans remain unknown. On January 14th, Marguerite II abdicated in favor of her firstborn son, Frederick. Despite this being somewhat embarrassing for the Danes, the new kings decided to take another vacation outside the country. As heirs, Frederick and Mary typically spent Easter in Denmark, specifically at Marcellusborg Palace, with Queen Marguerite II. On Easter Sunday, the entire family could be seen attending Mass at Aarhus Cathedral. However, on their first Easter as kings, the couple chose to spend the holiday with their four children Christian, the heir Isabella, who will turn 17 on April 21st, and twins Vincent and Josephine. In Denmark, it is mandatory to have a substitute regent during the absence of the head of state. Queen Margaret is currently serving as the substitute regent while she spends time in Marcellusborg. This is the second time that Federico's mother has assumed the regency after his abdication, as her son is on vacation abroad. It is unclear where Frederick and Mary are vacationing this time. However, they recently spent a few days in Switzerland. According to the BT newspaper, the royal family now customarily spends a few days enjoying winter sports on the ski slopes of Verbier, a Swiss town located in the heart of the Alps, where they own a luxury chalet. They have been in Switzerland for about a week and a half, with an expected absence this time around. The agenda, especially Mary's, remains a mystery. For many years, Mary of Denmark has been one of the hardest working members of the royal family in Europe. In 2023, the number of official events on his agenda reduced significantly, and this became more evident after the publication of photos of Frederick walking the streets of Madrid with Genova Casanova. All eyes were on the Australian and her performances. However, after becoming queen on January 14th, many expected her schedule to be overbooked once again. But that is not the case. Since Frederick X's proclamation, there have been few new queens. Additionally, some events he attends are not announced on the royal family's website, and we only learn of them after they have occurred. This also prevents journalists and photographers from attending events, as the royal house is responsible for distributing images on its social media. It is worth noting that Mary did not accompany her husband on his first international trip as the Danish monarch. The king was in Poland last week on an economic mission with Danish and Polish companies and chose to attend alone, without his queen, which was unusual for their time as heirs, as they have always made similar international visits together. It seems that things will improve a bit in May as they have important events planned. At the beginning of the month, they will be traveling on their royal yacht, the Dannebrog, to Sweden and Norway for state visits. This means we will see the new queen wearing her finest jewelry along with other members of the royal family. They also plan, but that's in the summer, to travel to the Faroe Islands and Greenland to introduce themselves as the new kings.